All right, returning to our top story of the night, the storm hitting the Southland. The heaviest rain is hitting us right now. Let's get right to meteorologist Devlin Tab with where the rain is now and what you can expect tomorrow morning. Ev. Uh, Pat, I mean, we are looking at so much heavy rain now materializing on radar. It's unbelievable. We went from just a few showers to here it is. And we knew, you know, we were sort of like when we're going to be on the set together at 11 p.m., <laughs> the party is going to get started. That's what you said. Yep. So we're starting that party. Okay. We're in it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that rain is coming in. It's coming in steady at this point, and we're tracking, of course, it all. But at the moment, the heaviest rain, you'll see yellow and orange on your screen. This is what's going to materialize a little later tonight orange and red and that's what we're bracing for because this is going to be some of the heaviest rain of the evening and the overnight hours right now we're looking at some of the heaviest showers right there over ventura county la county we're looking at a lot of yellow on your screen and yellow indicating heavier rain calabasas into malibu and santa monica inglewood starting to get hit with downpours that's what the orange is on your screen there as we head over to the 210 corridor we're starting to pick things up a little bit it was much calmer not too long ago go. We were just tracking a few light showers. Now, as you make your way into Glendale and continue on into Arcadia and Glendora, starting to get heavy rain as well over our mountain and foothill communities as you make your way along Highway 2 into Wrightwood. At the moment, I will tell you, just rain in Wrightwood and in our mountain communities, those snow levels are still very high at 8,000 feet. So that's not going to be a big part of the equation tonight. We're also looking at very heavy rain from Chino Hills into Pomona and Rancho Cucamonga tonight as well. So the IE starting to get hit with some of those heavy heavier cells. Continuing on through Laguna Niguel, Mission Viejo, South Orange County, the toll road, the 73, the 133. And as we get a look at your future cast here, it is set for right now. And this is some of the heaviest rain that's moving through. It's going to continue to move through. In fact, the entire metro getting hit at 145. This is going to be between the 1 and 2 o'clock hour into Orange County and the Inland Empire. And continuing on through 4 a.m. By 4 a.m. tomorrow morning, it's still going to be very heavy as far as the rain goes. 6 a.m. letting up a little bit, especially through the basin. But once we start heading into Orange County and the IE, we're still looking at some heavier rain through the Coachella Valley as well, closer to Palm Springs. And by 845 tomorrow morning, as you start the day, get to work, get the kiddos to school, we are expecting much drier conditions with some heavier spots, possibly over our mountain and foothill communities. By 1230 lunchtime, it's dry for the most part, for some of us. We're still looking at a few leftover showers through the afternoon hours. We're not done with it yet. And then as we head into Thursday early morning, take a look right here. It's dry and it's staying dry as we head into your Friday and your Saturday. Just be mindful of travel disruptions. Don't drive through, of course, any puddles of water. We're talking one foot. That could wash a car away, which is pretty incredible. And as we get a look at the basin and Orange County, we're looking at a few showers in the mix. Drier Thursday through Sunday, even though there's a slight chance of rain Saturday night and then a chance of rain continuing Monday, maybe more weather on Tuesday. Pat, back to you. CBS 2 is now CBS Los Angeles. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.